Hollywood particularly is what every actor in commercial cinema wants to go to, and I thought I'd give it a go. But you know, the basis for all my uh, travels abroad, all my success, has been the Sandokan television series, uh, which made me a star in Europe uh, and many other South America and many countries where um, Italian, Spanish, French, etc. are spoken. Nobody in those days had PR agencies and press agents, etc. Uh, in fact, um, when, I, when Sandokan first became a hit out there, I didn't even realize it had become a hit because in those days, you know, there were no mobiles, there were just these landlines and you had to book an international call. And if you had to book an international call, then somebody would call you back three hours later and say, you're on. And every three minutes there'd be this voice saying, three minutes over, sir, you want to continue? So those were the days. I went there with Pareen Babi, who I was living with at the time. And I arrived and there's a bank of photographers at Rome Airport. I'm looking down thinking, who the hell are they for? I'm looking back up the airline steps and Parveen nudges me in the el uh, with her elbow in my ribs and says, there for you, smile. <laughs> and that's when I realized it had become such a big hit. And the records of Sandokan's transmission have not been broken on European television till today. Sandokan is a story of an Asian pirate who fights the British Empire and also fights for his love because he happens to fall in love with an English girl. But the main struggle is the struggle for personal freedom, for the independence of his people, a handful of people uh, fighting the might of the British Empire. This is the story of Sandokan. It's a great tale, it's a great story. So it remains timeless. The fact that it was made decades ago is one thing, but the fact is even today's generation seeing it would love it. And that's why I dubbed Sandokan into Hindi.